Yeah, I know. I said I was going to sl stop, slow down, making videos. And um, I had a few messages sent to me, and um, <laughs> no, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to slow down. Um, I may not make them every day anymore, but I will keep making them um, as long as things keep inspiring me to do and as long as I have time to do them. As long as I have data on my phone to do them. Um, today I was just wanting to hit on something that's been bugging me about these people that think that we were created by aliens. The stuff that was in Samaria that people say is evidence of aliens that were acting like gods were the fallen angels. You can see the wings on them. I mean, if you think anything else, I really don't know what concept you go to. I mean, as far as Abrahamic religions, I mean, it's it should be obvious to anybody to that faith what the Sumerian ruins were were the fallen angels. When you start getting into the different kinds they um, talk about and stuff, you see, you hear things like the Amorites, Canaanites, which were biblically different races of Nephilims. Ne aliens are Nephilim. They've always been. Bigfoot still is a, um, a form of Nephilim. There is no missing link. They try to say these people or these things, whatever they, you want to call them, are from other planets. They are from Earth. They've been here. You watch Project Blue when they're interviewing the um, the Greys. The, the um, what are they called? Um, The snake people, the um, reptilians, that's what it is. Reptilians, they say they are people. They they said they're from the future and some other dimension. I mean, I'm not just proving that, but um, actually I think they've been here for thousands of years. They're still us. They just, um, like they said, they mixed their DNA with reptilian DNA. Snake DNA, whatever, and this was thousands of years ago, probably pre flood. But even if it wasn't pre flood, the wives of Noah's children of his sons still had that polluted DNA. That's why the earth was destroyed before the flood. Uh, biblically, is this is um, proven. Is because all the bloodlines were um, polluted except for his. That's why there were 400 different kinds of people on the earth at one time. It's because of the, the mixing of um, different um, animals and stuff. That's how you got your meat-eating um, dinosaurs like the Tyrannosaurus Rex and stuff like that. was mixing of the bloods. Because before the flood, everything ate, um, everything that Hawa created ate vegetables. Even, um, tigers and, uh, lions and stuff like that ate in the fields like the, um, like the ox did. That's why when, um, you read in, um, Isaiah chapter 11, I believe it is, it actually talks about, in the end, um, after... Everything is fulfilled, and there is peace on earth. That the um, lion eats with the um, ox in the fields, I believe it says, and the um, baby plays with the um, asp as they did before um, the first sin in the garden. These things have been here forever. 
Now, I'm not saying they're going to be here forever, because we're about to hit a reset. People that are alive today are going to see some amazing things. Whether they survive all that, I don't know, but that's not my place. But you're going to see some amazing things. Because you're going to be witness to one of the greatest cataclysms of all time. And that's something amazing to see. This is an exodus, this is not a tribulation. Uh, it will be an exodus if you were coming out of it. People are being awakened all over the world. I mean, people you never, you never thought would be religious are becoming religious. But, really spiritual. But I will tell you this much. If you're following a... A rabbi, a, a preacher, um, uh, whatever they do in the Muslims. I don't know what their ministers are called. Um, you're doing the wrong thing. We're supposed to be the head, not the tail. We're not supposed to be following them. We're supposed to follow Hawa. That's what it says. The proverb says, not um, follow your heart, your mind, but follow Hawa. So, you're not supposed to be following these different religions, these different preachers, these different ministers. You're supposed to be reading the books and not even trusting your own mind, but trusting them to guide you. Asking them to give you strength to do what you need to do and who you need to be every day. And they do answer these, all these prayers. I mean, I get everything I pray for. But be specific on what you want when you pray for it. And then... I mean, really, be specific what you want when you pray for it. Because Hua is really into specifics. I mean, I never ask, I very rarely ask for money, I mean, when I need something to survive, but I mean, they provide everything I need. Food, water, um, a roof over my head, clothes, um, if I need clothes, they, they provide more for me. I mean, I've said I needed shoes before, I got like five pairs from different people, you know, I mean, need clothes, I mean, they show up. Um, everything, um, and even money when I need it for food or somewhere where I need bills or wh whatever, you know, I mean, they, they provide everything I need. But, make no mistake, we were not created by no aliens. We were not some fluke of some ev evolution thing. People have made the state mistake of saying we evolve no we adapt adaption is absolutely proven by science that all animals adapt to their situations even like the birds that Charles Darwin um, was watching on the Galapagos Islands they adapted to their surroundings so they could um, eat a wider variety of things they adapted they didn't evolve the people that have lived most of their lives in aquatic areas and actually have different spleens and um, lung capabilities and can stay underwater for 10-15 um, minutes at a time with, um, without breathing apparatuses, they adapted that way. They didn't evolve that way. Just like the ones that can stay up in, the, um, in Alaska and um, actually when it's 30 degrees, they're running around in shorts. Because they adapted that way. There is... A... Group of people that are trying to... Make you think that there is no higher power. And I think there's very few people who actually know the upper ends of that but there's a lot of people that have believed what they said on all these things
and it's very disturbing that people believe all these um, things that people have told them over time. Because I know absolutely that six, 13 billion years ago, if nothing did explode into everything, which I don't believe was that long ago, it was because Hawa said, well, because Hawa created the heavens and the earth. Bam. I really want to do it. They spoke it into existence and it became existence. But I don't believe in a mass universe. I believe in the heavens and the earth. Maybe several different dimensions, maybe thousands of different dimensions. I mean, I don't know when you put any limits to what they do. But I believe what you see in the skies is lights, just like it says in Genesis. They show the seasons and the times. It doesn't have to be that complex. I mean, I'm not saying anything they do is not complex. Because I believe that they know what you're going to do 20 years from now. However many thousands of years ago uh, um, this all started. Or millions of years ago. Or billions of years ago. Whatever the actual truth is on it. But. And I do believe in multiple dimensions. And there's stuff going on right in front of you all the time that you um, can't see. I mean, that's proven. I mean, by radio waves, sound waves. I mean, anything I say right now is still going to be um, traveling around um, in the universe for the next 10,000 years. Because sound is infinite. Just because you can't hear it always doesn't mean it's not going on. Just as sound is infinite, energy is infinite. But, anyway, I was just saying these aliens did not create mankind. Hawa spoke everything into existence, our mother and father. He spoke her into existence, and they spoke everything else into existence. The heavens, the earth, every um, creature that is um, running around on this planet. And we are not animals. We are a higher um, creation designed to be like them, to look like them, to act like them. But we've lost something after Adam and Eve sinned. Because he made them perfect to a degree. They were dark skinned um, people. And they looked like them. Adam and Eve looked like our mother and father. They were beautiful. And they were intelligent. They had to have been. But they didn't have knowledge of evil things. And he said, just let me teach you everything that's good. And don't touch this, this tree that will t teach you all the evil things too. There had to be that test. Somebody asked me, why, why would you have that test? But you got to really go into why they, why they created man. Because they created us to have free will. The angels didn't have free will. We worship them of our own free will. To have a group of people that worship them of free will. Even if it wasn't the most convenient thing, it wasn't the most fun thing. Because they loved them. I love my mother and father. 
What is my breath? And they love me. I know they do. They love all their children. Anybody that follows their law. To get that straight, though, I mean, their children are the ones that follow their law. You can't just live your life however you want and then get to go to whatever, heaven, if you believe in that concept. I don't believe that heaven is um, our abode, it's their abode. But, I could be wrong. I mean, Enoch did not die. He was translated, so they say. Of course, Enoch was a special... Because he was translated to teach the angels how to worship better. Um, and this man um, has worshipped well. And I do pray to be that good at some point in my life. But I'm sure as long as I can follow their laws and do my best to keep them laws um, and try to help my brothers and sisters that they will give me a long life and I will have a chance to learn all this stuff right after all this is um, going on. I'm trying to get everybody to wake up. I mean, everybody's waking up. I'm trying to get everybody to understand. Stop doing the stuff that everybody's told us and really find understanding. Pray for eyes to see and ears to hear because those are the most important things. And you can read, you can you can watch these different ministers or whatever and I mean pray, I mean if you really listen, they'll talk to you. They'll tell you everything. You may not want to hear it, but they will tell you. You have any question Concentrate on anything long enough, and you'll get an answer. Usually, you don't like it, but you'll get an answer. You know, these are basics. People coming, oh, you're in here, you're full of um, crap. Okay, maybe. But it's always worked for me, and there are lots of people who um, say exactly the same thing. Jordan Peterson says the exact same thing I do. He's a clinical psychologist. Um, ben Shapiro says the exact same thing I do. Man's a um, Jewish person and actually does a lot of debates. Um, and a lot of people have said the same thing I do. I mean, if you listen to Plato about Plato's cave, it'll tell you about how waking up is a completely different world. I mean, if you don't know the theory of Plato's cave, is there's four men chained to a wall their entire life. All they um, knew of the outside of that um, cave was what they seen on the silhouettes of the um, cave walls, the shadows, and the, um, hearing the sounds. And one day, one of them was freed. He went out and actually seen what was actually going on. And figured out that life was nothing like he thought it was. And he went back to the cave and tried to tell all of his friends that they were wrong and everything was um, di completely different. And they thought he was crazy because he could see things that they couldn't see. And that's what waking up in this, um, out of this matrix is really like. Is you really start seeing everything that everybody else doesn't see, but they're going to think you're crazy because... You're not seeing it like they are seeing it. You're not seeing that, that distorted view. You're seeing full life, full color of what is really happening. But don't let them convince you that you're wrong because you actually can see. Eyes to see and ears to hear, or um, spiritual eyes and ears. And you're going to see things that nobody else can understand. And they're going to think you're crazy. And they're going to tell you you're crazy. But keep on moving. Keep on stepping. Don't let nobody hold you back. And, I mean, it does say over and over again. 
do not choose nobody over them, not your wife, not your children, not your mother, your father, nobody, your mom and dad, because our mother and father are in heaven, those are the ones we choose, but you don't choose nobody over them. Um, I hope this helps you, I hope you watch it, I hope you enjoy it, um, if not, keep on watching, I'm going to keep on putting them out, um, halahawa as always, and may you be blessed.